very much, Michelle, and good morning, good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining today's webinar. Um, as Michelle said, this is Wendy Stewart, Vice President of Global Integrated Site Services with Quintals, and I'm joined today by Sam Searcy, my colleague also in Integrated Site Services. So we're excited today to be talking to you about Accelerated Startup and how at Quintals we really believe we can improve our customers' probability of success by ensuring we provide the right start to the clinical trials that we conduct. So in terms of today's agenda, we're going to start by walking through the industry challenges that face us all. We're then going to move on to talk about the Quintiles Right Start solution. And then we're going to go a little bit deeper into the contracting process. And by a case study, we're going to try and articulate and quantify the benefits we see um, and that we share with our customers when we work in the Right Start solution. And lastly, we'd then like to move on to talk about the role that technology plays in helping us realize some of those benefits with the Right Start solution and how we can really drive to improve quality um, and efficiency. And then, as Michelle said, we'll end off the session with a, a Q&A. So let's go ahead and get started then. So I'd like first for us to just sort of take a step back and, and think about a world where we could envisage up to 30% faster startup timelines, where we could imagine that we could get through investigator contracting um, and in reducing that by 45% and where we could really drive to get more patients and up to 50% more patients from our sites. I suspect that many people that are joining today's webinar um, would also like to envisage this world. And I do think it's a world that is within reach. Um, and, and so I think over the course of today's presentation, um, we're going to talk you through how we do see that as being possible. So next slide, please. So let's start, however, with the current reality. Um, you know, I think today our industry is under intense pressure to deal with study delays, to um, work within constrained budgets, within tight timelines, and against the backdrop of a fairly constantly changing set of regulatory guidelines. And as a result of that, the industry typically sees up to 50% of clinical trials experience some kind of startup delay, and as a consequence, um, right now across the industry, around 45% of trials are completing late. Now, I think we all recognize that, you know, for every day that our timeline slips, this does mean that we have a delay in getting our new products to the market. It does mean that we're impacting the patient health for those patients that we're trying to get these new medicines to. And, of course, there is millions in future revenue at risk. And I think, again, you'll, you'll be all too familiar with that statistic there that, that still today across the industry, we see that around 20% of our sites still go on to recruit um, zero and, or go on to be zero enrollers. And clearly, um, you know, that has an impact on us all. Um, it's not a great use of resource. It impacts the customer. It impacts the site. And it certainly impacts the CRO as well. So there has to be a better way. Um, you know, to succeed in today's environment, I think it's more critical than ever that we ensure that our studies are getting started up quickly and that we're using the best possible knowledge, knowledge the best possible processes, and the best possible technology. So next slide, please. So at Quintel, we really recognize these challenges. Um, and as a result, we are committed to transforming clinical development um, and ultimately improving our customers' probability of trial success. So at Quintel, we have developed this right start approach, which really challenges the traditional model of startup to ensure that we achieve significantly better results. And it's really a, a combination of integrating data our analytics and our expertise to make sure that we come up with this transformative model. So the Right Start approach consists of several different components, and I'll sort of walk you left to right across this slide. It starts with the right path, and, and by right path, we mean leveraging um, unique internal, external, primary data sources 
and combining those with leading edge technologies to help us ensure that we select and identify the most effective countries and site strategies that can be deployed in order to go ahead and, and execute that trial. And of course, this is the, the typical stage where we would perform um, protocol validation or some form of feasibility assessment. When we're confident that we've got those right country, site, and patient strategies, we'll then move forward into the right start phase. And this is where we really leverage streamlined and integrated processes that helped us help us optimize that startup phase. Now that includes leveraging our best-in-class site database to help us drive rapid site identification and selection. And it also means that we will leverage some fairly dynamic and interactive regulatory tools that our global experts will leverage and couple with their local knowledge in order to deliver um, startup. Now, we've done a lot of modeling, and I'll talk about it a little bit later in the slide, but we've done a lot of modeling to look at country interdependency within startup. And this really helps us drive towards synchronized filings. And then lastly, during that right start phase, we will use our technology to um, leverage what we class as real-time leading measures. And these leading measures help us proactively identify where we may be about to encounter some form of risk and really enables our teams to step in to tackle those risks and prevent them from becoming real issues.